we are going to evaluate this expression, meaning we plug in negative 3 for what? X. X. So look over here. Wherever we have an X, we put negative 3. So I put, instead of my X, I'm going to put a big blank. And in that blank, what am I going to put? Negative 3. Now I do order of operations. Order of operations, parentheses, where there's nothing inside to do. Exponents, oh, negative 3 squared. 9. Bring down the 4. Bring down the minus 5. Now, order of operations. Multiply, divide. That is 36. Last step, obvious, is just one step. Subtract. And hopefully this is a pretty simple one. 31. It is 31. 36 minus 5 is 31. So basically you take this value, put it wherever you see an x, and then combine, and then order of operations. So this one... You have this, you are going to plug negative 1 in for? There is no X. In. Let's change this to an N. Okay. That's a good observation. If that was X, you can't plug it in because it's not X. N is negative 1. So let's plug negative 1 for both ends. So it looks something like this. Okay. So what's going to go in for n again? Negative 1. You put a negative 1 there, and you put a negative 1 there. So that's, you're evaluating by plugging in negative 1 for n. Now we do order of operations. So order of operations, you first do the parentheses. I have a negative 1 and a negative 3. That would be negative 4. Okay, no more parentheses to be done or nothing inside of parentheses to do. So exponents. We don't multiply these. We first power the negative 4. Negative 4 squared is negative 4 times negative 4, which is positive 16. Now, no more parentheses or exponents. So we multiply, divide, left to right. So we start with this one. Now that might be a little tough to do, but think of it, I have 16 nickels. 16 nickels is 80 cents. Now, we still have a multiplication. We have to do <coughs> multiply and divide. We're not done multiplying and dividing from left to right. So we now multiply these two. That's negative 7 times negative 1. That is a positive 7. Bring down the 80. My answer is simply 8 plus 7, 87. Now, if I plug a different number in for n, would I get a different answer? Yes. Same over here. If I chose a different number for x, I'd get a different answer.